This green machine behind me is a 2017 high roof live model. It is a certified pre-owned inventory unit. And in that certification process, we're quality controlling everything. So we're gonna tighten down loose bolts, check your power system, make sure your batteries are up to snuff and working correctly. Uh, check your fluids, your oil change, wiper fluid, um, make sure the sealant on the air conditioning and air vent are all protected so that there's no leaks inside the van and just make sure this thing is going out the door as new as possible whenever you drive away. It is a high roof, like I mentioned before. It has the Quigley system, so it's a true Quigley 4x4 van. So if you are somebody that enjoys overlanding, you want to go through some creeks, drive on the beach, uh, go over some semi-rough terrain, you have that ability and is a true four-wheel drive system. Um, with that, it's coming with the KO2 all-terrain tires and ultra toil rims. And like I mentioned before, with that certification process, um, we're going to make sure the rotor and brakes are updated um, so you're going out with a fresh system there. Um, on the roof, we have the 12-foot Van Duet roof rack and it is made of the aluminum T-Track system. So you have that ability to tie down into certain points. Um, we'll take a look at it a little bit later on top of the roof, but that's where your air conditioning, your solar power and everything all sit on top of the roof. Um, there's a Thule hideaway crank awning. It's a really easy system. You just have a bar and you crank it in and out. Um, it's 10 feet, so it's a really great addition for those summer sunny days, fall days as we're getting closer to fall. You want to go tailgating or you want to go to a state park and just camp out have that awning out um, and sit under under the awning um, there are light bars on the roof rack so right here you can see there's a passenger side light bar there's a big front light bar and one on the back as well so you're able to pull into a campground late at night or if you are hanging outside of the van at night and you don't want to sit in pitch black um, you can turn on those light bars um, on whichever side of the van you need access to um, and have a truly illuminated area. And this van is equipped with a fixed ladder on the back door, um, which is great if you want to store gear on top of the roof. Uh, you can just climb up the ladder. It's really sturdy. It's on the back door. Um, and you have the ability to mount things to the roof rack. And this van on the roof rack is actually the same material as the inside of the van. So it's a T-Track system. So you can mount kayaks, paddle boards you can have a another box up here for storing all your gear um, and you can just tie down anything into the t-track system on top of the van and taking a look on top of the roof rack up here we have two 200 watt solar panels so you have 400 watts of solar um, right in between the two solar panels is the top of the max fan air vent and then this black box right here is the Dometic high efficiency roof air conditioning that can run off of the shore power plug-in. So as we take a look at the inside of the van here, the first thing you're going to notice is this bug wall. So what's awesome about these bug walls is you have the ability to have your doors wide open and you don't have to worry about mosquitoes and flies getting in the van. Um, in the middle here is a magnetic strip on both sides. So you just have the ability to open it like that really easy you don't have to deal with the zipper or anything and this being a magnet um, you can slap it to the side of the van um, and then it's really easy to put away um, you just roll it up just buckles like that and you're able to get it up out of the way if you're not going to be using it um, and then let's kind of do a walkthrough of the inside of the van here. And as I mentioned before, this is a high roof van. So I'm able to stand up as somebody who's about six feet tall. I can stand up comfortably inside of the van. So if I have to change or anything like that, if, if I'm cooking at one of these modules, um, I can stand up straight. I don't have to bend over. It's a very nice comfort in the van. Um, and this van is a passenger van. So right here we have the single seat jump seat. Um, it's great, you can expand your passenger seating that way um, with the driver and passenger seat. Um, and in the floor we have these covers over seat mounts. So where these modules are, um, these can actually pop out and you can put extra seating in here. You can pop in um, up to eight seats. So there's a three seat bench that fits in the front a two seat bench that sits back here and the two seat bench can also be moved forward a row 
um, and used in where the three seat bench goes as well. And these are the kitchen modules. So these are completely rearrangeable. Uh, right now it's basically a three wide setup. In the base here we have the double wide slide tray so you can fit in the dual zone refrigerator. Um, and you just push this yellow button down. Um, and what's nice about this dual zone is you can have a fridge and freezer inside your van or you can do a dual zone freezer or a dual zone fridge, whatever kind of, uh, whatever groceries or anything like that you have in your van, you're able to segment that out between these two sides. Um, and then if, if this isn't the setup that you want, we have a ton of different setups. So you can have a one wide where you just have a sink and another slide tray. Um, you can go three wide like it is here. You can go two wide um, if you want more drawers or cubby spaces or slide trays. Uh, you can just work with one of our gurus and they'll help you lay out the van in the best way possible for you. So this van being a live model, it has the hydraulic bed lift. One nice thing about the way this is set up is it has this full leaf on the front. Um, it's got the hydraulic lift, so you can kind of raise and lower things depending on what you have stored on the gear slide below or what kind of headspace you want when you're sleeping. Um, where it's set right now is kind of, in my opinion, the perfect setup. It's right above the seat over here and above the kitchen modules. So you can pull these bars out, fold the leaf over, um, and then there's this corrugated plastic piece that fits into that spot right there. So you have a nice level sleeping area. Um, and then you just pull the mattress out and it fills that space. This bed is a queen bed. So it's truly a queen bed. Um, it's plenty of space for you if you're a solo traveler or if you are traveling with your spouse um, and you have the ability to have a full queen size bed, it's ample sleeping area. Or if you just want your dog up here as well, it's a nice comfortable sleeping area. So it does have folds in it. So if you do want to fold it up, push it all the way to the back, use the hydraulic bed platform as a storage area. We've had some people because it has that T-Track system on it, even like mount a bike up here whenever they're not using it for sleeping. So you still have that ability on this bed lift. And like I said, it's on a hydraulic bed lift so you can, you can raise and lower it. It'll go all the way up to these panels right here and then all the way to the top of the storage cabinets in the back. And now we're gonna take a look at the garage area of the van. So right here, we have our gear slide, which is another staple of the live model along with the hydraulic bed lift. Um, right now you can see we're just using it to store some chairs, but you can put bikes, uh, suitcases, totes that have all your gear in it. Um, and then you can strap it down to the gear slide. Um, and then you just pull a little red knob here and it pulls the slide tray in and out. And there are a bunch of locking positions on the gear slide so that if you are on a slope, um, it won't just come rushing out at you and knock you over. Um, this power system is an AGM power system. It's 300 amp hours. Um, it's got a 2000 watt go power inverter. So you're able to run all of your outlets throughout the van. So if you want to charge your laptop, your phone, run a hair dryer, things like that, you have that ability inside your van. Um, being the AGM power system, you're going to have to be a lot more comfortable or not comfortable but conservative with your power so there are going to be times where you're going to have to plug into that shore power system to run like the rooftop air conditioning um, and your water heater things like that um, that have a bigger power draw um, but on the back here we have the switches so for the exterior light bar we just got blinded right there accent lighting cargo lighting the water pump um, and then right here is where the hydraulic bed crank is so you just change the direction of the ratchet to raise and lower the bed. On the passenger side of the garage is where we have the water system. So we're using a jerry can here, a six gallon can, which is awesome. If you're at a park and they have one of those spigots, you're able to fill up using the city fill. Um, or if you want to use this as like a fresh water source, you can get a big water jug and fill it that way. Um, and then it is connected to a hot water heater. And like I said, you're most likely gonna wanna plug into a shore power system when you use that. Um, and you can just string a curtain in between the doors, throw a little mat on the floor right here so you don't get your feet dirty while you're cleaning off. Um, and you can just utilize this little spigot here um, and rinse off that way. Um, and we can demonstrate that thing real quick. So we'll just turn the water pump on and <laughs> get a little bit of pressure here. 
give it a nice a cone shower um, or if you need to spray something off just like a garden hose you can switch it to jet whatever you need to do uh, to rinse off there oh good thing it's marine grade um, and so that's kind of the garage area the one more thing to point out are these thermal curtains with pockets there's a really strong strip of velcro right here and you just put these curtains up there um, and you seal them on the velcro um, and then you can put tons of shirts socks my wife and I actually did a video probably four or five years ago demonstrating how many t-shirts you could fit in there I think it was over a hundred if you have all the pockets set up throughout the van so it's a great resource for maximizing the storage in your van and this van is available for purchase so if you're interested in it there's a link in the description below to the contact page it'll get you in touch with one of our gurus and they can kind of work through the things you may want to change on this van uh, if you want to switch up the kitchen setup if you want to add some bumpers to the front or the back um, there's some add-on accessories that can be done to this van also we have warranty options uh, financing and we take trade-in so we try to make the process as simple as possible so there's no headaches throughout the process and we're going to help you out along the way along the stages to delivery day